I'd like a drink, please. Here you go, lady. a sudden and completely unexpected relapse of death. Ah, and just as we were getting reacquainted. As his kinsman, it is my duty to give him a proper burial. It is my solemn vow. Young, hearty beef and potato shall be buried in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. Ominous. Hey, there's a hole in the ceiling of this crypt. I think I might be able to squeeze through. Wow, it's a tunnel that opens on a deep, dark forest. It looks familiar somehow. As if I've seen it in a dream. Or maybe it's... I don't know. Great jumping monkeys! A terrifying horde of stunningly rendered rabbit jaguars! They're coming right at me! Whew! It's a good thing I couldn't get through that hole. I'd be done for. It's a memorial plaque for Mini Strony Good Soup. Yikes. Morbid. Tastefully done. It's a ghost in a bride's gown. She looks very sad and lonely. Ahem. Oh, hello there. Who are you and what are you doing here? I am Mini Good Soup, last in a long line of eligible Good Soup debutantes. I was buried here exactly one week after my wedding day. A wedding day that never came. What happened? I was the belle of Blood Island. How many people can claim that? Oh, how the lads adored me. I was courted by the richest, most handsome men in the Caribbean. But all my suitors bored me to tears. I wanted someone dangerous. I wanted a pirate. By the way, what do you do for a living? Flooring inspector. Oh. Then one day, a real pirate sailed his ship into the bay. I fell for him instantly, and we became engaged. But he left me standing at the altar, and I died of a broken heart. Wow. That bites. Oh, I know. Were there any other suitors you found attractive? Well... <laughs> There was one I could have fallen for. Young Charles de Goulash. He had such a radiant smile. What happened to him? You know, it's funny. I don't know. He checked into the hotel one night and I never saw him again. Go into the light. If only it were that easy. I'm afraid I can never leave this crypt until I marry. Are you attached? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, what a shame. You sure have pretty eyes. Oh. Hey, nice ring. <laughs> Was it something I said? I hate this ring. It's been passed down from mother to daughter in the Good Soup family for generations. It was to be my wedding ring until that evil pirate stole the diamond and left me. Left me here to die of a broken heart. Where's the diamond for your ring? It's gone. He took it. Who took it? My love. My honeycakes. 
My widow schnoobums. My LeChuck. LeChuck is your schnoobums? He pried the diamond from its satin during the rehearsal dinner. Oh, what a fool I was. He told me he was taking it out to get some fresh air. Where did LeChuck take the diamond? Cad. The fiend. He sold it to the smugglers of Skull Island. It's just so humiliating. I could just die. Since you're, uh, not using it, can I have your engagement band? This ring will remain on my finger until I have a wedding band to replace it. How do I get out of this crypt? There's no way out of this crypt for either of us. I must haunt this lonely tomb until I've married a man I truly love. And you can't leave because the door's locked. This is just a shade too creepy for me. I'm leaving. I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own fault. Stop scaring me like that. So I did scare you? Really? Well, startled is more like it. Oh. B but startled in a terrified kind of way. You really are very, very scary. Don't talk down to me. I really don't have any choice. I saw you get out of that crypt. Does this mean that you're dead? No, I was only faking. Darn. I thought together we could walk among the living and spawn a new wave of terror throughout the Caribbean! So what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs. Something like that. It's Murray. Hey! Good soup is food. Nice coffin lid. It looks like he's writing a horror novel. It's called The Grog That Drank People. Part one of a three-book cycle. I wonder why trashy media always comes in threes. It's a glowing lantern. It's the poster for some really trashy monster book. Trust me, it'll never sell. It's a poster for Suckers 12, The Beaking. It's either a dead parrot or a very strange bat. It's hard to see what it is from where I'm standing. Judging by the beard, I'm guessing it's a goat. Oh dear. What a bore. It's a bunch of cheesy horror stories. It's the stuff that really boring dreams are made of. Looks like a Halloween mask. Cloying, yet grisly at the same time. It's a dinosaur from the monsters that time couldn't care less about. It's a poster for some dumb book about undead pirates. That must be the gravedigger. Hey, mister! Help! What? Who's there? Who said that? Who's scaring poor old Mort, the grave digger? There's been a horrifying mistake. I've been buried alive in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. This joke has gone far enough. You kids should be ashamed of yourselves. It's no joke. I'm really trapped in here. Crazy kids with your long hair and your Baroque music? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. This isn't a trick. I'm really trapped in this crypt. I drank a special potion that put me into a coma. Thinking I was dead, they buried me in this crypt. Yeah, right. They did that in the book. Never trade lunches with a corpse. If you kids ever came up with an original idea, I might believe you. Just come and look at me through this crack. Oh, sure. I turn my back to the door and you thieving little hoodlums 
people sneak up from behind and tie me up. I read all about your sinister ways in my horror novels, so nothing doing. Curses, you've seen through my web of deceit. I'm no ordinary man trapped in a crypt. Well, what are you then? I seek the golden rods of Cathan to bring peace to the Shire. Do you bear the mark of Tixplik, the chosen one foretold by the scrolls of the Third Shadow? I was hoping you wouldn't ask. What I meant to say was... I'm an angry and deranged ghost haunting this crypt. Then let me see you appear before me. Excuse me? If you were a real spirit, you could materialize in a ghostly form. It's all in the books. Well, let's see it. Isn't the ominous sound of my disembodied voice proof enough? I guess not. <laughs> Fear me. I'm an evil ghost. Then go ahead. Show your ghastly visage. I can't. I'm shy. You're no ghost. I'm going to haunt you until you set me free. Then go ahead. Show your ghastly visage. Not right now. You're no ghost. You must love horror stories to own all these collectibles. Reading fantastic stories about the dead helps me keep my mind off my work. Why are you wasting your money on all this bad fiction? At least my bad fiction doesn't require over a thousand dollars in hardware. I see your point. Let me out of this crypt! I'm not falling for your tricks this time. Just leave me alone and let me read my horror novels. I'm gonna go sulk in the darkness now. Have a good time. I've got it. Hey, what happened to the light? Murray, do your stuff. Okay. Boom! Ah! Mortal fool, release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture. And never more will you be able to find socks that match. All right, hang on. I'm coming. Great work, Murray. I... I was terrifying, wasn't I? My demonic powers have made me omnipotent! <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like the lantern ran out of oil. There. It's open. Now shuffle off and give me peace. Well, Murray, are you ready to continue our heady adventuring? Murray? Where'd he go? Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? Eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. I 
I didn't hear you come in. I was just... Charles? Charles de Goulash? Is it really you? Minnie, it's been so long. Oh, Charles, it has. It has. You look so different. Really? Why, you look exactly the same. Oh, Charles, how you flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. What would our families say if they knew we were alone together on such a romantic night? Minnie, this may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. Elope? Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, Minnie. Oh. Marry me. Oh, yes, Charles, yes. A thousand times, yes. Then kiss me, my love. Caribbean if you have to, but bring me my bride! 